go. Hey folks, Lee Bercy here. I was invited by my friend uh, Eric Bowman and the fine folks at Operation Come Home to make this video for you uh, as part of your donor appreciation event. Uh, obviously 2020 looks very different than previous years, but that doesn't mean we can't uh, celebrate the incredible people who shape and save lives each and every day. As someone with lived experience of homelessness, I can say that I wish that an Operation Come Home had been in my life. Maybe I might have been able to avoid some of the traumas, the circumstances, and the various setbacks that probably plagued my existence and created a variety, a tapestry of unfortunate circumstances before I got to this point. For many people in life, success is not a linear process. For many, it takes time to get to our destinations. Sometimes we have to burn bridges along the way. And some of the people that you serve through Operation Come Home, the dollars that you give, the donations and support that you sponsor, maybe they're not there yet. But because of you, some of them will be. Many of them have a better chance today at surviving the harsh elements and the unfortunate circumstances that lead to homelessness than they ever did without you. For further context about myself, I'm a municipal councillor in Brockville, Ontario, but I don't speak to you on behalf of my council tonight. What I do is speak to you as someone who works on the front lines at the Haven 2 Youth Shelter, 4th Avenue Baptist Church in, in Ottawa. Some of our clientele are very much the same, and quite frankly, some of our guests speak about your organization with tremendous passion and vigor. I'm also the Executive Director of Tiny Home Alliance Canada, a chartered housing professional through CIH Canada. I'm also someone who has been involved with organizations uh, such as being the chair of the Persons with Lived Experience uh, Advisory Network for the National Alliance in Rural Remote Homelessness and making the shifts Lived Experience Scholar Network. And furthermore to that, I think it's important to recognize that not only do all of these organizations work incredibly hard to eradicate youth homelessness and homelessness in period across all of our beautiful country, which we all know and love and care so much about. But we can't do it alone. All of these organizations, to some degree, struggle with working in silos. Myself, as someone who has struggled with addictions, someone who has not always shown the best version of myself, someone who needed someone to turn to, in a rural and remote atmosphere, I would have been so grateful to have some of the fine folks like the people at Operation Come Home to turn to. I was invited to speak tonight, invited to give you this uh, opportunity to hear my voice and, and hear my words and see my story in front of you. And I can say that as someone who writes for Invisible People, someone who has helped found the Brockville Street Friends, someone who does homeless outreach every day, someone who has participated in your $24, hour, uh, $24 a week challenge multiple years and made it a front page news story here in Brockville about the challenges of living with a healthy diet and uh, the unfortunate circumstances that so many homeless youth are dealing with, specifically in some of the metropolitan areas where people assume that services are available to them and that everyone has an equal opportunity. I know as a performing musician who has performed at Mavericks and Cafe de Cuff and some of the beautiful venues downtown like the Avant Garde, that one does not need to look too far to find the unfortunate Circumstances of homelessness more prevalent than ever, and people falling apart at the seams and falling through the cracks that we as a society have allowed. You have played a very valuable role in changing people's lives and possibly saving them too. I'm happy to be here tonight to talk about the tremendous work that you do. And as someone, as I said, a frontline staff member for an organization that works in conjunction and adjacent to yours, I am so grateful that you exist. For myself, as someone who still struggles, still overcoming my own many tumultuous circumstances and a bearer of many bad decisions, I just wish that people like me had a place like you to turn to. And thankfully, with your support, that will continue. Now, as a musician, as I mentioned before, with Project Mantra, which you can find online and has recorded multiple albums and uh, is a fixture in the Ottawa music scene, I got to the uh, very unique ability, uh, the very unique uh, honor and homage, I got to uh, kick off the 24 Hours of Homelessness event that uh, Operation Come Home hosted a number of years ago. That's how I got to know Eric and how I got to know your organization, and he asked me to perform a song for you folks. So without rambling on any further, 
I will leave you with this incredible point. It's amazing what people can accomplish when given the opportunity. Thanks to you, they have more opportunities today than they did yesterday. Please continue to give to this organization and maybe we can all celebrate together all of their successes in the years to come. This song is called Disarm. It's by the Smashing Pumpkins, one of my favorite songs of all time. And I think it hits a little close to home tonight. I hope you enjoy. I hope you find me on social media. You find my band on social media. And more importantly, you continue to support Operation Come Home. It's up to you to make sure that we put an end to youth homelessness in Ottawa.